Hello, this is Adinko and I'm doing a video today on how to make and power your first fission reactor. So before we deal with anything we need a hazmat suit first. There's four parts to this, the boots, the leggings, the body and the mask. And this protects you while you're handling radioactive materials otherwise you'll get some pretty bad side effects. The second thing we're going to need is a power source to start processing our materials. I've got an energy cell here but you can use solar or dynamos or most forms of electricity. So it all starts with the uranium ore. We need to process this into a fuel that we're going to put into a reactor later. And the first thing we need to use is the chemical extractor. So I'll stick this on my power here. Inside the uh, chemical extractor we put some uranium ore and we also need some water. So water goes in that first slot uranium ore goes in the second and you can see it's already beginning to process into yellow cake. Okay so I've made some yellow cake. We'll pop this into our inventory and let me just show you what happens when we're not wearing a part of our hazmat suit. I take it off and immediately I get radiation sickness too. So this is why it's important to keep covered with a hazmat suit at all times when dealing with this. Now the second part we're going to need for this is the nuclear boiler. What the nuclear boiler will do is take our yellow cake and some water and it will process it into uranium hexafluoride gas. Okay so I've processed a bit more of my yellow cake into some uranium hexafluoride. The third block we're going to need here is a centrifuge. If we pop that down right next to the nuclear boiler it will automatically take the uranium hexafluoride out of the nuclear boiler and into the centrifuge. Now this is a little slow and it's going to take a little while to bake some uranium so I'll pause the video here. Okay so my centrifuge has completed two cycles and I've made some uranium 238 which is breeding uranium here. Now it's not actually what I need to power my fission reactor so I'll show you what happens. There you go, it's just completed another cycle and I've still not got any uranium 235 which will appear in this slot here. So be warned it can take a couple of goes to try and get the right kind of uranium for what you want to do. I'll pause this again until I've got some uranium 235. Okay so I've got enough uranium 235 what I need to do is create a fissile fuel cell and that's just three uranium 235s and your empty cells. Now this fissile fuel rod is going to be the fuel for my nuclear reactor. Okay so let's build our reactor first thing we're going to need to do is make a 3x3 three three hole in the ground and two blocks deep. Now on one of the sides we'll make a hole and just next to it we'll make a hole in the corner. In the side we'll pop our sticky piston down. Now on top of the sticky piston we need to put a control rod. This in combination with a thermometer block is going to help us regulate the temperature of our reactor and stop it overheating to explode. We'll pop the fission reactor straight on top of the thermometer there. And now I'll close up the sides of this chamber and fill everything with water. Okay, so I've finished off my reactor chamber. If we right click the reactor, we can insert our fissile fuel rod. We can see that in the middle here, it's already starting to generate some temperature. It's also starting to generate steam. Now the more temperature you have, the more steam you generate and ultimately the more power you make. At the bottom, we can also see how many seconds are left until we've spent our fuel rod. Now let's come down the bottom here. We can see that we've got this thermometer block here. Its worn level is set to 2000 and the current temperature inside is about 370. If we bring this down to say 500. So when the temperature reading reaches 500 it should activate the sticky piston. Now what I've noticed sometimes this can get a little weird and it doesn't always activate it if you put a block down next to the sticky piston that normally sorts it out. So the control rod is raised and what this will do is pause our reactor so it doesn't generate so much heat and we can keep it at a stable level. You can see it's hardly going up at all and in a few seconds this will sort itself out and start going down. Now a reactor will overheat and explode at 2000 celsius. I like to leave it at a warning level of around 15 to 1600. So we'll set that here and we'll leave that running, making some steam. Now what we need to do is put on some turbines. So if I just place this glass block, I can start adding in reactor turbines. So you can fit these straight above the reactor. And if 
I do so like this, now you can see that they're spinning already because they're capturing the steam and making some electricity. We can use a crescent hammer, or most of the Minecraft wrenches available in various mods, and if you use that on the middle turbine, you turn it into one big old turbine here, which generates even more electricity. Now, from here, you can run some conduit, or you know, build craft cables, thermal expansion, most of the mods work, and using that cable you can then use your power. So that's pretty much it on a fission reactor. I hope this has been useful, and thanks for watching. Cheers.